the North Pennines OMB partnership has achieved so much through its work in the Cold Blood and Spineless project. We have this wonderful landscape with incredible habitats and actually without the contribution of invertebrates from all groups, from beetles, butterflies and a lot of soil organisms that we don't see, our landscape, our meadows, our woodland, our water wouldn't be as amazing as it is. So we wanted to bring together a project that wasn't just about the science, but actually celebrating how amazing they are. And that's why Cold Blood and Spineless has been an incredible fusion of arts and science. We've worked with artists, we've worked with schools, and we've worked with naturalists to bring them all together to share these messages and to really celebrate how incredibly exciting invertebrates are, how weird and wonderful their life cycles are, how they can teach us as a human race the way to be more efficient in our society. We have engaged lots of different groups, um, local groups. We've had the Cubs and the Scouts uh, working with us. We have worked with three different schools, all different age groups from um, Key Stage 1 up to secondary. We've worked with children from reception age up until high school age. We've worked with the local dance group, uh, the youth group. Um, we've also worked with Natural Ability, which is a charity. It's been two, two fast days, you know, in some ways it'd be great if it had lasted longer. But, you know, two days where we had a lot of fun. And we get to know the children, and the children really get to know a certain creative way of working that maybe in everyday life they wouldn't pick up on. And certainly that physical relationship, creative and imaginative relationship with our environment, really important, really important to understand the environment and, be, and feel that we're part of it and not detached from it. Yeah, it's been, it has been, it's been a learning journey and it, it's, it's, been, it's been nice to see it, you know, to have walked around with the ecologists and, you know, taken from that information and put it through a kind of artistic process. It's been really nice. People can spot each one. They can look, hunt around the areas for the particular one that they found and hopefully they'll find, find them or find signs of them. And even if they don't, it's, a, it's an indicator of where, of which habitats, which creatures live in. I have always uh liked invertebrates. I grew up in the countryside, I was always surrounded by all these creatures. I just find them extremely fascinating, Slight, slightly obscure group of animals, which uh, most of the people, laymen, they, they feel a bit kind of scared towards, but once you start looking at them, um, they're really wonderful creatures to, to admire and to photograph and to observe. and. Uh, in fact, we have had people, um, arachnophobes, and at the end of the, of the talk, they said, wow, I would never have thought that they could be so uh, interesting and, and nice to look at. And uh, that's a really nice complimentary thing to, uh, to have. That when you're doing leather work and you're doing sort of detailed work to do with insects, you're sort of thinking about the structure of how something is built, uh, you know, the, the, the sort of architecture of an insect. And uh, that's really interesting as well because, you know, everything has a, has a sort of function. And I also I like that sort of hidden beauty as well, you know. Um, I, I've always liked the idea that there's these beautiful moths flying around at night that we don't, you know, that we don't see, that are everywhere. Not only have we found many species which have never been recorded in the North Pennines before, um, we've had a fly that's not been recorded in the UK since 1997, we've had really important records coming through like that. Um, but as well as that, through, through our workshops, um, but also through all of our arts um, work and our work with schools and local communities, we've helped um, hundreds of local people to embrace invertebrates in a way that they never would have done before. 
through things like the Facebook page, through things like our special invertebrate sites where we've given them places they can go, um, an idea of what they might find there, what kind of habitats they can find there. I think we're really empowering people to just take this further and further and also to spread their knowledge. Um, it's been really nice to see some of our recorders have led some of the workshops and events this year, which is great because that's what we want. We want people to, to learn and then to share. Invertebrates are just so special. They're really exciting, they're really fascinating. And once people understand that, they get carried away. And actually, that's when our job is done because then they'll go off and a walk is never quite the same again. They'll start looking into the undergrowth and they'll take a lot longer to get somewhere because it's kind of impossible to resist it once you get that bug. Self-dry out, I'll shrivel and sleep for some 15 hours.